This is the temperate deciduous forest. Welcome folks, welcome to today's show. We're here in the temperate deciduous forest. I'm your host, Ryan Sanders, and we're going to show you around this magnificent beauty called the temperate deciduous forest. In the fall, the number of hours daylight decreases. This causes some plants and trees called deciduous to stop producing chlorophyll, a green pigment that converts sunlight to chemical energy and eventually lose their leaves. During this time, these leaves turn brilliant colors ranging from red to orange to yellow to brown. Let's go. Mate, as you can see, I'm climbing up here to show you this. Right here, you see this brilliant color we have here? This right here, that's the loss of chlorophyll that I was just telling you about. Magnificent. Take a look. All right, back up here, cameraman. Let's go. My ankle. Here in the temperate deciduous forest, there are hardwoods such as maple, oak, and hickory. And also, there are evergreens, like this beautiful pine we have here. Look at this beauty. Look how, look how smooth she is. You might get a splinter here or there, but it's okay, because she's beautiful and magnificent. She's a big one. That's a big beauty. That's what I call it. I call her the big beauty. Let's move on. Deciduous forest consists of four layers. The first layer, which is at the very top, to 60 to 100 feet high consist of the big trees such as the chestnut tree, <laughs> the maple tree, and the sweet gum tree. Going down the second layer consists of the small tree or the sapling layer which have the short tree species and young trees. The third layer consists of shrubs and flowers. And finally the ground layer consists of mosses and lichens. The super deciduous forest has a wide variety of things. Oh, Crocky, mate. Take a gun over there. That is a black bear. You can find them in timber deciduous forests such as this one. Let's go mess with it. <laughs> Come on, cameraman, get up. You almost woke the bear. Listen, here's what we have to do. We have to take a stick and we're gonna poke it. This is a great poking stick for poking bears. Usually I would say not to do this. You don't want to wake them from slumber. But I am a professional. Watch. That was pretty fun. But you know what? This is too big of an opportunity to give up. I think I'm going to wrestle it. Watch. I got the band a headlock. Oh, we're eating good tonight. I'm gonna stab him. <sighs> He's done. You just saw me wrestle the black bear. But there are many other animals in this temperate deciduous forest, such as the fox, the squirrel, deer, many other things. In fact, look, there's an eagle in the sky right now. You get it? Crocky, that thing just flew right over us real fast. Let's try and find some more beautiful and extraordinary things in this wonderful temperate deciduous forest. Let's go. In the temperate deciduous forest, the leaves start to fall when it gets real cold and there starts to be frost on the ground. So all these leaves are getting kind of slippery. So safety tip number one, if you're ever hiking in a temperate deciduous forest, this is how you need to hike. It's kind of a walk and a jog put together. Watch. <laughs> See when I stopped and I almost fell? The jog does the trick. Let's go. Here in the temperate deciduous forest, we're at a river right now. And in this river, it's water. And the water comes from rainfall as long as many other things. But in most temperate deciduous forests, there's about 600 inches of rainfall per decade. But for those of you who can't do math, it's about 60 inches per year. But I like to refer to the decade. Let's go. Safety tip number two. Whenever you're near a river in the temperate deciduous forest, make sure you take careful steps or you will fall into the river. And since it's winter, that would be very cold. Watch. You take a careful step. 
No, you don't want to step there. Don't step there. Take a careful step. It's good, it's good. Feel the water. See where the water's at. That's how it works. Let's move on. In the temperate deciduous forest, we found some examples of leaves that will fall from these trees during the winter and fall. Here, this is the red maple leaf. As you can see, it's very rounded without as many edges. So, there's the red maple leaf. Here is the silver maple leaf. See how magnificent and beauty, beautiful this is. The silver maple leaf has also fallen from one of these trees. And the silver maple leaf had these holes in it, probably from an insect eating into it. You understand? Let's swim on. Here in the temperate deciduous forest, we have some example of monkey grass here that has risen up out of the ground. I'm surprised it's still alive right now, considering the conditions with the snow and everything that just went on not too long ago. This is it right here. You see it? It's beautiful. I know. Let's go. Here in the tundra. The temperate deciduous forest. Oh, excuse me. Here in the temperate deciduous forest, this is an evergreen. And this particular evergreen is the holly bush. Now, what's so special about evergreens is they do not lose the chlorophyll throughout the year. See, as it's winter, and these little holly bushes still have the green. Safety tip number three, by the way, do not touch. They hurt. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, I just got done climbing 3,000 feet up this rigorous mountain. Here in the temperate deciduous forest, there are many, many crazy and beautiful things about this biome. One of the things is how the temperature varies so rapidly throughout the year. In the winter, the temperature is the lowest, which means it's coldest. In the summer, it is the warmest. And, one of the, and it ranges from about negative five degrees Celsius all the way to 20 degrees Celsius. That's one of those things that makes this biome beautiful and mind blowing. It's one of the most beautiful biomes in the world. Let's move on. This beautiful temperate deciduous forest is located in Gabor City. Go ahead, take a look at its magnificence and glory. Beautiful, I know. The other temperate deciduous forest located in Western Europe, Southeast Asia, and Eastern United States of America. Due to weather patterns, there is more precipitation during the summer. The precipitation ranges from about six to 10 inches per month. Let's move on. We hope you've enjoyed your time here in the Temple Deciduous Forest. We're about to go and study some other biomes now. But for now, we're signing off. We'll see you again in about a decade. See you later.